Hey everyone, we are 2 a.m. That's two assholes in a microphone. My name is Dirk. This is Crystal, and today we have Who the Fuck is Just in Time and Big Murph featuring Slim Huck alone. Now we've heard Justin, of course, and Big Murph. We've never heard Slim Huck. So this is going to be interesting. And I'm not sure whether this is rap or country, but this was uh, requested by Michelle Lee. And she's usually got pretty good taste in music. Yeah, so we usually enjoy whatever it is she's asking for. So. Okay. <laughs> stoned I don't okay that, all right well I can see why he's known as slim huck yeah he is <laughs> a tiny little dude yep I don't want to leave my home not the pain in the anger to see the fame and the fortune but never pain in the torture mm. they see the glitz and the glamour never the pain or the anger mm -hmm. yeah it's uh He's referring to uh, fans and things like that, and what they what they see, how they perceive things, relative to what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. I was young and confusing the anger to see the fame and the fortune, but never pain in the torture. I was young and confused, and I was being imposed. I'm at the end of my rope. I don't know what else to do. I'm I was young and confused, beaten and bruised. I'm at the end of my rope. Didn't know what to do. All right. So okay. that's a thing that set him up into some of the mistakes as well as how he got himself out of it. Yeah. All right. And I was being imposed. I'm at the end of my rope. I don't know what else to do. I'm stealing mama's prescription. My baby mama stick bitch and I made some bad ass decisions. To press the fuck it, I'm living. I got them pills on the counter. I'm taking numbers and downers with cocaine power in mountains. I swear them drugs have you drowned. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Stealing his mama's prescription, getting in trouble with his baby mama, just getting into all kinds of yeah. things that he shouldn't that's, be. Yeah, that's that's one of the downsides to a lot of these people's backstories is they usually come from a, a situation that is, we'll say, less than ideal. Right. And it's... Well, that, that's the thing. A lot. It's not just the artists. A lot of people in general they find themselves backed up against the wall and they're just trying to some some are trying to fit in with a crowd some are just trying to get through the day just trying to deal right well that's that's kind of where i was going with it it's just they they come from these backstory these horrible backstories and that's what makes them so relatable to people right I'm taking numbers and downers with cocaine powered in mountains. I swear them drugs have you drowned. It's very rich and mm -hmm. it's almost soulful without actually being that. Yeah. Yet. You know, it's almost there. It's there's a lot of feeling behind mm -hmm. it. Mhm. But I don't want to I don't want to be alone. I just want to drink till the pain and get stoned. Right, I that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. It's very R&B. I want to be alone.
struggle every day, but never give up. Just know you're never alone. Very nice. Very nice. I like um, the way it was put together. I do like um, the way it was put together. Um, I would have liked to have heard a little bit more from from Big Murph. Yeah. Um, like I said, I like the way it was put together. Uh, it's very heartfelt. And I like when an artist will admit to the wrongs and the struggles that they had in the past mm -hmm. without promoting doing those things as yeah. a solution. Um, Where they let you know, hey, this is what happened, this is what I did, these are the mistakes I made, but don't go down the path I did and this is why. Yeah, I like I like when they do that because it instead of promoting it serves as a warning. Yeah, that and also an inspiration that if you are there now, you can get out of it. Mm -hmm. So, I like that a lot. Now, as far as the song itself goes, um, I, I liked it, but it's not exactly something I'm going to, you know, go searching for on, on a regular basis. Right. If I heard it again, I'd be, it'd be happy to hear that again, but I'm not going to go looking for it on, you know, often. It's not a playlist song for you. No. All right. It's a great song, has a great message, but it's not quite... The it's like it's not a playlist song. It's not something I can just kind of bop to. All right. Well, thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe, ring our little bell, do all the little things. Leave a comment down below for us. Be blessed, y'all. Peace.